I'm gonna start by shaving the inside of the ears. On this dog, I'm using a 40. I would typically use a 40 blade on the inside of a Schnauzer ear. Uh, I kind of play it by ear, <laughs> no pun intended, on what the dog will tolerate. Some dogs won't tolerate a 40. I like a cleaner ear. Uh, otherwise, I will use a 30, but I usually don't go anything longer than that. So I'm just edging along the side of the ear here and I'm using my finger as a guide. So I'm not gonna cut into the side of that ear on the leather. And I'm gonna take this all the way up to the tip on both sides of the ear. Right where the ear meets the head is where my line is gonna be right there. All this hair off. Be careful not to take any of the hair off here because then you're gonna end up with a bald spot right here on the side of the head that you did not intend to have. Let's get all this here. I'm just skimming right here. I'm not pressing down all the way. And then I'm using my finger to push the ear on this side out so I can get this clipper line all the way to the ear leather. And I'm going against my finger here so I'm not going to accidentally slice her ear open. It's okay, honey. We gotta go this way. Okay, and then I'm gonna clean the outside of the top of the ear. With that, I will start with a 10 and probably move to a 15. So I'm gonna take this clipper line right to the back of the bell here, and that's where that's gonna go all the way up to the front and off the ear. So right now I just wanna get hair off so I can see what I'm doing here. So I'm just skimming, this is with a 10 blade with the Andis, uh, the new Andis Pulse Ion. And this clipper is quiet. So the dogs usually don't mind it. I'm just skim this hair off. And again, I'm gonna be careful not to take too much off here. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my finger, pull the bottom of this ear leather out of the way just so that ear is nice and tight for the clipper work. And come in here and just scoop all that off. It's okay, Val, good girl. You're doing a good job. Oh, lots of things to see. Get all this off. Okay. So I am gonna move it to a 15, just cause I like it nice and clean. So same thing, follow the same line. Back of the bell, all the way to the front. Not taking off too much hair right here. And then right where the, the ear meets the head is gonna be that line. And again, I'm pushing this, this hair with the skin out of the way so that the flap doesn't accidentally feed into the clipper. Get all that nice and clean. Good girl. And we would do the same thing on the other side. I am not going to take my clipper blade and run it up the side of the ear. I do see a lot of groomers do that. That is a very dangerous thing to do, even for a well-seasoned groomer. You do not want to do that. That's what your scissors are for. Okay. And then I am going to scoop out here. I'm gonna use a nine blade and I'm gonna use that in reverse. I'm gonna take this about four, well with her about three or four fingers up above from the breastbone in reverse. And I'm gonna go all the way up. The line that I'm using is right to, under these dogs you see they've got this, um, there's whiskers right here, and then they've got whiskers right here, and same on the other side. That's where you're gonna stop. So it's kind of like a connect the dots, a built-in, tells you where you're gonna go. So hers is right there. So I'm not cutting this into the beard. I'm just scooping this up, up to that whisker, and out. And then I'm gonna take this pretty much where the seam is. So if you follow the back of the bell all the way to here, that's the hair that's gonna come off. That's where that colic is naturally on the dog. I'm gonna follow that line. 
being careful not to clip too far onto this side. So I accidentally clip in the wrong direction and end up being shorter than I wanted. So this is all going to come up to the ear, get all that hair off. Okay. Just following the seam. Good girl. Okay, and I'm gonna find where her whiskers are on this side. There's a little like ball, like a little knob. Oh, there it is, right here. So that's where that line is gonna go. Right there. I'm still using a nine blade. I don't know this dog, so I don't wanna go too short if I don't mind. And then go in reverse just to kind of blend that, okay? So all this needs to come off. So the corner of the ear to the corner of the eye, all of this right here can come off. You gotta find your eye where the corner is. It's right there. So I'm just gonna follow the line that she already has. It's okay. Good girl. And I'm just gonna kind of reverse just to blend this in. I'm just skimming right there just to take any extra hair off and clean up right in front of the ear. Okay. Now with her, I am, I, some groomers will take like the same blade and use it on the top of the head. I typically do not like to do that. Um, I like to either use um, like a, a five in reverse or um, a seven with the grain. I just think it looks a little bit better than going in there with a nine blade. So I'll start with a five with and see where that brings us. It's always good to start long and work your way down. So I'm gonna find right where this divot is in the head where her eye is, and I'm gonna make sure that I'm following those lines. So let me run a comb through here first. Good girl, Vale. Her mom did tell me that she tends to be a little on the wiggly side for her head. So I'm gonna go with the grain right now. And I'm only taking this to the occiput. So right where this top of the head is, is where I'm taking that line. Do not go past that. If you go past that, then you're gonna end up with a divot on the top and then it's gonna be harder to blend that in. Scoop this off. Yes, yep. The lines, the lines for the different sizes are all the same. The, the trim is the same. It's just, uh, you know, fixing it for how big the dog is. But the, the trim is the same. Okay, I'm gonna take that off. So I'm actually pretty happy with what the five blade has done. So I'm not gonna go in reverse and I'm not gonna go any shorter. Get all this off. And then I will run this just down the side, take off any extra excess that you don't need. And just kind of blend that. Off the sides. It's okay, Val. Good girl. Okay. Okay. So my clipper work is pretty much done. Obviously not this side, but you'll do the same thing on that side. And then 
Everything else I'm going to do is going to be either with thinning shears, blenders, or scissors. She's being a very good girl. She is. Okay, I'm going to comb all of this forward. And what I usually like to start to do with these guys is kind of clean up in the eyes. So I'll pull this eyebrow out of the way and I'll kind of comb all this hair forward. And this is everything that I'm going to trim. I do not go in there and clip that out with clippers. Do not shave down the bridge of the nose. Anything that you need to get cleaned out here, you can do with either blenders or thinning shears. And the reason for that is so that when this hair grows back, it's not going to start, you know, poking her in the eye. You're not going to have this shaved line, which is really just not an attractive look anyway. And that is a huge pet peeve of mine is seeing groomers just shave down the bridge of the nose or in between the eyes. Just a lot natural look if you use thinning shears. So I'm going pretty much from this corner and I'm angling my scissor up to this eye just to clean out this stuff so I can see her eyes. Good girl, Val. That's a good girl. Okay, the direction of the growth of the hair changes, so I'm going to change the angle that I'm at. It's okay, Val. Good girl. It's okay. So I'm going to kind of just follow that down. Good girl. That's a good girl. Okay, then I'll separate and I can see where it was trimmed last time. So I'm pretty much just gonna follow that. Just to get that out of there. It's okay, honey, good girl. Clean all that up. 